<laughs> Screwball. Good gravy, it's your boy Gravy from Screwball Gaming. Today we are playing one of my favorite games, Lakeview Cabin Collection. Now if any of you guys watched the beginning video, you would know that I talked highly of this game, and I'm a very big fan of it. Thing is, the controller's not working. So we're gonna try technical difficulties doing this live. There we are. Back to what I was saying. This is a game I think very highly of. I don't see... I've never played a game like it ever in my life, or since I've played it. It's a 8-bit horror game that, um... Parodies... Parodies, like old 80s horror movies, like Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Alien, The Thing. And today we're gonna do, uh, Lakeview Cabin 3. And if you Kevin 3 is obviously the Friday the 13th inspired game. Now in this game you have to like set up um, traps for your supposed killer or killers. Plot twist. If you've never played this before and you discover that second killer, you, you will drop a log. It's very scary, very scary indeed. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting a lot of the stuff out of the way. So I can get my stuff set up. So let's meet the characters. We got Steve. We got Karen. Karen's a moron. Karen uh, only has one purpose in this walkthrough, and it's to drink whiskey and to eventually vomit. Then we have Carl. Carl, uh, he gets to hold the big box. The big box is very important because if nobody holds the big box, you will be cornered. It's just not fun. Um, so you, I'm going to use this hammer and uh, fix that walkway up there where I can maneuver my way across the hallway here and then Carl's gonna lift up this platform and uh, then we're gonna have Jill didn't introduce Jill this is Jill There's nothing special about Jill besides the fact she looks like Velma from Scooby-Doo but we're going to uh, get Jill uh, to bring us our supplies or uh, to get rid of things that the killer can possibly pick up so you want to go over to this storage unit here and you want to close this generator because if you don't, you're going to get the power knocked out and you're going to have to deal with these guys in the dark. Which, um, it's stressful. Um, yeah. It's not, uh, yeah, you want to close the daggum thing. It's very important. Um, they recently updated the game to where it's uh, not as glitchy. And I had a lot of fun with the, the glitches that would help me out in the game, uh, winning the game. I know that's a terrible way to win a game. But, um, it's made things a wee bit tougher, and when I mean tougher, I mean I have to, uh, put more thought into my strategy, which is okay. Um, it's not that bad. So, uh, yeah, so I put my gasoline down to where I can get prepared. Now I gotta have Jill go back over to the, um, the generator area to where I can get a big axe to go get my daggum flare gun. The axe is uh, key to getting the flare gun. I believe you can use any weapon for um, getting the flare gun. But if you use the axe, you, you bring it over there, it can come in handy later for the end of the game. This is this is no big. If you know how to play this game, it's uh, probably probably takes you 20 minutes. But if you don't, I'd advise you uh, to uh, suggest just give your friends a controller and let them play this because it's funniest stuff you'll ever see, okay? They have no idea what to expect, they just see a nice little pretty 8-bit game. You don't even, they don't even know if it's a horror game. So it's extremely fun to watch your friends play, but if you know what you're doing, then it, it takes you like 20 minutes. I mean, I've uh, played this game for years now. It's uh, definitely one of my favorite games. Definitely one of my favorite games. One of my favorite, probably top three Steam games uh, available on the market right now. So now we got to put Karen in her place. Actually, no, not quite. I've missed out on an aspect. I make mistakes. I'm human too. Um, let's uh, see. I need that uh, kitchen knife. Or, nope, not the fly swatter. You need the kitchen knife, Jill. There we are. I don't know if it, uh, it's going to be good enough to use what I need it to be used for. We'll see. Nope. I might need the axe. Daggummit. 
Well, I am a, uh, I'm a moron. Yep, that's uh, that's all there is to it. I need the axe. Yes, indeed. Let's go get the axe. The axe, the axe, the axe. Oh yeah. So, uh, for you guys new to Screwball, what we do here is we provide you guys opportunities to win money and ca uh, and a lot of cool other prizes um, by just sending us really awesome clips. We uh, love the game, all of us do, people that you'll see throughout the channel. I grew up with odd games. Not your first person shooter, Call of Duty, um, Halo. Never been big on those. I like the weird games, so that's the kind of stuff you'll need to replay. Uh, but occasionally, I'll be um, I'll be up and about with Big Al, or uh, hopefully Army of One, and we'll be doing stuff together. Uh, wow, I'm gonna ask the door down. Um, so yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy watching us play games, and I hope you guys enjoy um, winning those prizes because it's cool stuff. So I got my gun now. The gun's important. Yes, indeed. It's very important. I'm not going to spoil it for you now, but it's very important indeed. Very important. So I got to take the axe back. Got to walk over here. I'm going to get Karen in place eventually. No, that's not where I need the axe, Jill. It's getting nighttime. Things get freaky when the lights go out. I heard that echo. You ain't fooling anybody, pal. I know you're out there. You can't fool a daggum human being. Not a single one. Nope. I always think I hear a door close. It always freaks me out. Okay, Karen. Okay. User error. That gummit. So what Karen's gonna do is she's gonna hide in the closet because she has one leg now. But I'm still gonna use her because she can still be helpful. Gotta get Steve, and Steve's gotta go get that gun. Get that gun, Steve. Steve is armed and ready. Lock and load, buddy. Lock and load. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I need... Okay, are we ready? Is everybody good? All right. Let's get busy. Let's get down to business to defeat or avoid the chance of copyright. Cue the crows. Yes, indeed. Come on, big fella. I call this dude the baby face killer. That's what he's known as. Not a very party sight. Got, uh, got a lot of uh, physical problems. Put that knife down. Put that knife down! You can hurt your eye out with that, son! Fuck! Oh boy! Steve! Get ready, buddy! Come on! Come on! Pull! Get her done! Now... I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite pastimes is walking around a campsite while burning alive. That's a joke. Yeah, I shouldn't have to explain it. That's crunchy, Caleb. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Yep. His flesh is burning alive! Yes, indeed. That is flesh. My English is not so good. It's not so good. I'm sorry. The flesh isn't alive. You are alive with flesh. Stupid. Come on now. 
I know you're not dead. I've dealt with you before. I've dropped heavy things on you, stabbed you, blown you up. It's a lot to get rid of you, my friend. Ow! Hi! Plot twist! He's alive! Alright! Karen! It's your chance! Come on! Alright, Karen. Good for you, Karen. You've never looked better. We might need to get Karen to a hospital. Now, just when you think it's over. Some angelic lady walks into the place and goes all demonic on your rear ends. Huh. Karen's been through a lot. She has one foot, one eye, an open torso. You gotta clean things up every now and then, you know. Keep it nice and clean. That anymore? Let's go check on the doggy. Doggy's okay. Oh, there you are. Yep. Now this is someone you do not want to mess with. I'm okay. I was acting. I'm a theater major. That's what I do. Thank you guys for tuning in to Lakeview Cabin Collection. I will be doing, hopefully, a four-part series of this uh, to walk you guys through the rest of the Lakeview Cabin movies. I hope you guys look into our Facebook page, our Instagram, our Twitter, and, or, yes, our YouTube channel for future contests. Send us your best stuff. We'll let you know on what we're looking for. And we're really interested in all platforms. PlayStation, Xbox, PC, whatever you guys want. Um, just send us your best clips. And uh, probably in the future we'll have some more specific contests. But it's going to be a boatload of fun. So I hope you guys stick around for the ride that is Screwball Gaming. And thank you guys very much for tuning in. And always remember, stay gravy, my friends. <laughs> Screwball.